Hello folks, uh, this is a question from uh, 2020 October November paper 1 2 and the question number is 38. Uh, actually I missed on this question for so many months and uh, I was made aware uh, of this by one of my colleagues, one of my colleagues who was also asked about this question by a student. So he asked me if I have got any videos and when I searched I did not have. So I don't know how I missed it. So I am <clears throat> with the remorse in my uh, heart. I am uh, recording this video. So maybe uh, it was a bit uh, of a new uh, new style. So I must have left it to do later. But uh, I forgot maybe. So now uh, we are doing it. So it is about uh, uh, current electricity. It says a voltmeter is connected into a circuit with the polarity shown in diagram like this. Uh, a sliding contact is moved to end P of the potentiometer and then to end Q. So we bring it here and then here. What are the two readings of the voltmeter? So actually this is a potentiometer arrangement. Um, arrangement. And in our, in our theory class, in our theory class, what we did was the potentiometer we drew was somewhat like this. So if we have the potentiometer like this, like this, like this, like this. Uh, we would connect to uh, the the source like this whose emf we have to determine it would be somewhat like this like this then we connect a meter here some meter and then like this like this so it was uh, uh, this this polarity and this polarity should have been same same uh, in order to find the emf of this thing this thing so it has got a higher emf it has got lower emf and if so, we can find a balance point here, point where this reading will be zero. But here things are opposite. Here we have got opposite polarity. So minus here, plus here. Minus here, plus here. So uh, things are slightly different here. So let's let's deal with it. Uh, when we have a potentiometer like this, by means of using, um, let us say, voltage divider theorem or whatsoever, this portion, let us say this is x here, this portion Px, Px will act as a act as a voltage source. It will act as a voltage source, which is smaller than this three volt. So potential divider in potential divider also it's the same thing. The uh, voltage across one of the resistors will be less than the main EMF, and it can act as a voltage source for other uh, items there. So what we have here is I can uh, reconstruct this diagram like this, like this portion like this. So we have got uh, P here and X here, P and X here. This is negative, so P will be negative. Negative. This is a positive, so this X will be positive. X will be positive. So this is X. This is a negative is a P and the positive is X. So it acts as a voltage source. This portion acts as a voltage source like this. Then I have got this, uh, uh, this voltmeter like this plus minus. Then I have this uh, 3 volt like this and here it is simple wire here so this arrangement only this arrangement will look like this this arrangement will look like this so we have got a voltage source px plus minus p is minus x is plus then a voltmeter then this 3 volt so 3 volt here now when i connect this thing here when i connect this thing here the length is a zero the length of the conductor is zero. So in a potentiometer, we have got a Vpx is proportional to Lpx. So when I bring it here, Lpx is zero. So at P, at P, Lpx is equal to zero. So that's why uh, V, uh, so I will have Vpx is simply equal to zero. Vpx simply equal to zero. So the circuit will be somewhat like this now. So it is uh, uh, 3 volt here 3 volt I have got voltmeter here V minus plus then it's simple wire simple wire like this it is 3 volt so it will be since Vpx equal to 0 it will be like a simple wire simple wire here so it is Px somewhere here Px it is P and X so that's why this voltmeter will now read 3 volt because plus with plus minus and minus it seems as if it is across this uh, uh, source Though it is here, it is across this source, so it should be 3 volt. So that means this 0 and this 0, this disqualify sliding contact at P, 
zero zero disqualify. Now, when I place it over here, when I place it over here, I will have uh, at a Q at a Q L P X is equal to uh, L P Q whole length. So that's why our V P X will be equal to whole V P Q that's equal to three volt. So if I place it here, the P D here will be exactly like this. So it will be three volt. So now this is circuit will appear like this. So this thing will appear like appear like uh, I have got a positive and negative here. So this is positive. This is negative. Then it is a V here plus minus. Then it is a minus plus. It is three volt. It's also three volt. So this is V. Now what happens is now these two sources are in series. These two sources are somewhat like in series. So it accelerates the, uh, it uh, gives positive charge. It also again gives positive charge. Had it been like this, so had it been like this, uh, like this, and uh, like this, plus minus, plus minus, they would have cancelled. But when I do this, they add. It gives energy and again gives energy. So it gives uh, uh, 3 joules per coulomb. It gives 3 joules per coulomb. So altogether it should be 6 joules per coulomb. So that means in this case it should be 6 volt. So energy added. Had it been like this, they would have cancelled. It would have been 0. But since it is like this, it should be 6 volt. So, 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 the answer D is correct. C is not correct. So since they have changed the polarity, they have used different polarities of this and this, this and this, uh, things have become complex. Now, uh, this is not the normal arrangement because we use a potentiometer to find the EMF of a source, of another source, and it needs this sort of connection. If it is negative, it should be negative here, common, common point. If it is positive here, it should be positive here, not vice versa. But still, we need to know what happens. So, see, uh, what it measures, it, is, it measures 6 volt. We haven't given any source of 6 volt, but it measures 6 volt. So, that means this thing can be used to add uh, for addition of voltages. Voltage adders, let us say. You can use it for, for addition of voltages. So, everything has its use in, in, in our physical world. Nothing is useless. So, even if this is not useful for the measurement of EMF, it is useful for some other causes, which you'll be knowing later on when you have to study higher and higher courses. Okay, choice number D, correct choice.